ever pre-fire a corner in CS and somehow you still die first? That might be input lag. In this video, I'll show you what it is, what causes it, and how to make CS feel instant instead of delayed. Step one, in-game CS2 settings. To lower input lag in CS2 using only in-game settings, start by opening the game and going to the settings menu from the main screen by clicking the gear icon in the top left. First, go to the video tab and set the display mode to full screen because this usually gives less input lag than windowed or full screen windowed. Apply the changes if needed. Then, still in the video tab, switch to the advanced video section and find the option called wait for vertical sync or v-sync. Set this to disabled. V-sync can make the game look smoother, but it adds a lot of input lag. So turning it off is very important. If you have an Nvidia graphics card, stay in advanced video and look for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. Set this to enabled for most systems or enabled plus boost if you have a strong PC and stable high FPS. This helps reduce input lag even more. Next, to keep FPS high, which also lowers input lag, set most graphics options in advanced video to low or medium, such as global shadow quality, model, texture detail, and shader detail, and make sure motion blur is disabled. If you use the developer console, you can also press the tilde key, type FPS, max 300 war, another high number your PC can handle, and press enter to raise the FPS limit. Finally, open the mouse and keyboard tab in settings to fix how the mouse feels. Turn raw input on, so CS2 reads your mouse movements directly, and turn mouse acceleration off, so your aim is consistent and doesn't speed up based on how fast you move the mouse. In short, for low input lag, you want full screen mode, V-Sync disabled, NVIDIA Reflex enabled, if available, mostly low or medium graphics for better FPS, raw input on, and mouse acceleration off. Still lagging in CS2? Even with good internet, try Gear Up Booster. Crush ping spikes, boost network speed, and get that smooth zero ping aim. Pack the download link in the description. Step two, Windows basic settings. To reduce input lag in CS2 using basic window settings, start by making sure your monitor is running at its highest refresh rate. On the desktop, right click an empty area and choose display settings. Scroll down and click advanced display. Then look for the choose a refresh rate option and select the highest number available, such as 144 hertz, 165 hertz, or 240 hertz, and apply the change. Next, adjust your mouse settings so they are more consistent for aiming. Press the Windows key, type mouse settings, and open it. In that window, click additional mouse options to open the mouse properties window. Go to the pointer options tab, uncheck enhance pointer precision, this is mouse acceleration, set the pointer speed slider roughly in the middle, and click apply and OK. This helps your mouse feel more direct and predictable. Then set your power plan to get better performance. Open the control panel, press the Windows key, type control panel, and press enter. Go to hardware and sound, then power options, and choose high performance or ultimate performance if you see it. This keeps your CPU from slowing down to save power. After that, adjust your gaming features in Windows. Press the Windows key, type game mode settings, and turn game mode on. Then search for Xbox Game Bar settings and turn the Xbox Game Bar off so it doesn't run in the background. Also, search for captures, open it and turn off. Record what happened and any background recording options you don't use. This reduces background work that can add delay. You can also stop Windows from putting your USB devices like your mouse into power saving. Go back to control panel hardware and sound power options. Click change plan settings next to your chosen plan. Then click change advanced power settings. In the new window, expand USB settings. Then USB selective suspend setting and set it to disabled for both. On battery, if you are on a laptop and plugged in, then click apply and okay. Finally, you can optionally disable full screen optimizations 
for CS2. Find your CS2 shortcut or the CS2.exe file. Right click it, choose properties, go to the compatibility tab, check disable full screen optimizations and click apply and okay. Altogether, using your monitor's highest refresh rate, turning off enhanced pointer precision, using a high performance power plan, enabling game mode, turning off Xbox game bar and background captures, disabling USB selective suspend and disabling full screen optimizations for CS2 can help lower input lag and make CS2 feel more responsive. Step three, tools for low input lag. To use intelligent standby list cleaner for lower input lag in CS2, first open the ISLC folder and run islc.exe as administrator. Right click run as administrator. In the main window, find the wanted timer resolution MS box and set it to 0.5. Then tick or check the option like enable custom timer resolution. After that, click the start button. So ISLC applies the 0.5 milliseconds timer resolution. You should see the current timer resolution change near that value. Next, set the memory cleaning values. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or more, set the list size is at least to 1024 megabytes and free memory is lower than to 1024 megabytes. If you have eight gigabytes or less, you can use 512, 512 instead. Leave the polling rate at its default, for example, 1000 milliseconds. Once these settings are in place and ISLC is running after pressing start, simply minimize the ISLC window, do not close it, and then launch CS2. ISLC will stay in the background, keeping the timer resolution low and cleaning standby memory when needed, which can reduce stutters and make input feel a bit more responsive while you play. Step four, GPU control panel settings. To lower input lag in CS2 using your GPU control panel, first make sure CS2 is closed and identify your GPU, NVIDIA, or AMD. If you have an NVIDIA card, right-click the desktop, open NVIDIA control panel, go to Manage 3D Settings, then the Program Settings tab, and add .cs.2.exe as a program browse to your Steam, Steam apps, common Counter-Strike Global Offensive game, bin win 64 folder if needed. With CS2 selected, set preferred refresh rate to highest available and power management mode to prefer maximum performance so the GPU runs at full speed. Set vertical sync to off and triple buffering to off to avoid extra latency and either turn low latency mode off application controlled if you are using NVIDIA Reflex inside CS2 or set it to on ultra if you're not using Reflex. You can leave max frame rate off and control FPS with CS2's FPS max instead, or cap it just below your monitor's refresh rate. Click apply to save. Step five, registry tweaks, advanced. To use advanced registry tweaks for lower input lag in CS2, first understand this is risky. Changing the wrong thing can break windows so only edit the exact entries mentioned and always back up each key. Right click the key in registry, editor export before changing it. Press Windows plus R, type regedit, press enter and allow it to open. To adjust game and network scheduling, go to H key, local, machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, multimedia, system profile, then on the right, Create or edit the D-word network throttling index, hexadecimal, and set its value to f -f -f to disable network throttling. And create or edit the D-word system responsiveness and set it to zero to give more CPU time to foreground apps like CS2. Next, improve the game profile by going to H key, local, machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, multimedia, system profile, tasks, games, and on the right, create or edit GPU. Priority decimal set to eight. Priority decimal set to six. And the string values scheduling category and SVO priority both set to high, which tells Windows to treat game tasks as high priority. 
Then disable power throttling by navigating to H key, local, machine, system, current control set, control, power, power throttling, creating or editing the D word power throttling off and setting it to one. When you're done, close registry editor and test CS2. If performance becomes worse or anything behaves strangely, you can restore your previous settings by double clicking the reg backups you exported or manually reverting the values. Step six, background apps and overlays. To lower input lag in CS2 by controlling background apps and overlays, start by closing everything you don't really need while playing, such as extra browser tabs, music players, launchers, and other programs. You can do this by pressing Control plus Shift plus S key to open Task Manager, looking at the Processes tab, and right-clicking unnecessary apps and choosing End task do not close system processes you don't recognize. Next, turn off overlays that draw on top of your game because they can add delay. In Steam, open Steam settings in-game and uncheck enable the Steam overlay while in-game. In Discord, open Discord, user settings, gear icon, game overlay, and turn off enable in-game overlay. If you use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, Open it, click the gear icon, and switch in-game overlay to off. On Windows, also disable Xbox overlays by pressing the Windows key, searching for Xbox Game Bar, opening it, and turning the toggle off. After you've closed extra background programs and disabled these overlays, start CS2 and play. With fewer apps competing for CPU, GPU, and network resources, and no overlays hooking into the game, Input usually feels a bit cleaner and more responsive. Still feel like CS is fighting against you? Fixing input lag is one of the easiest free upgrades to your aim. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe, and comment your setup. I might break down your settings in a future video.